Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another Reaper blog video. Today, we're going to talk about render notifications. Um, basically, Reaper doesn't come with any way of alerting you that a render is completed other than like a pop up on the screen. And um, if Reaper isn't in focus, then you don't really see that. There's no audible alert. And that's what, yeah, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> actually put up a feature request for this back in 2016. And at that time there were um, sort of like pop-up alerts in the top right corner of the Mac. Um, and even with the settings set to allow to play a sound, it, no like system alert would play after a render was complete. So I said, this sound needs to be added to the alerts. Reaper is literally unusable and unprofessional without this. And I'll play the sound that I wanted it to, to be included. At the very end of Kenny's videos, he's got this like rooster sound. So that's what I wanted in here. Jumping ahead to 2024, Mio Ada Mespatine has written a script for this and it is available in her Ultrashell API Lua bundle. So you can click here, explaining the scripts. One, to play sound. When you run this, it'll play a sound when rendering finishes or is aborted. And running this script the first time lets you select a sound. Add the script to your startup actions so it's started with every Reaper start. If you want to change the sound later, you can run the second script, choose sound for play when rendering finishes. All right, so to get these, you click here on, uh, on her signature, and then again to, the, uh, to this link, the GitHub link. Click on that. Ignore all the text. All you need is the URL. So you're going to copy that and go into the repack import a repository, and then paste. I already have this imported. Um, but I guess it wants to do it again. I actually have my repack set to download automatically. Um, but for you, it might not be set to download uh, automatically, and you'll just have to select the ones that you want to download. Okay, so now that that is installed, you want to just check under Browse Packages. And again, waiting a second for this to complete. Uh, but you want to just check that uh, the word play sound, uh, play, play a file when rendering is finished. Ma just make sure that that has the little I uh, there, meaning that it is installed. And if it's not, then you just right click and then choose install. This uninstall button will say install. So we open up the action list and we search for play render. And that is Mespatine choose, you can choose the sound first. Uh, so we'll run this. We'll find that rooster sound there. <coughs> this other script, render play sound when rendering finishes, needs to be run sometime uh, after opening Reaper. Ideally, this is just added to your startup actions. So quick aside, if you don't know what startup actions are, um, you can have a script that runs a series of scripts um, or actions um, whenever you start Reaper, or you can have uh, the SWS startup uh, set. So there's the set global startup action or clear global startup action or uh, set project startup action, uh, startup action linked to specific projects. In this case, we want to use the set global startup action after we actually create our startup action. So I do have a custom action, custom startup. And so it loads screen set one. It changes the transport theme element background color according to ripple state from X-Rame. Bird Bird's global sampler starts up. And then also this render place sound when rendering finishes. Uh, actually, that name has changed, hasn't it? Uh, we'll just make sure that render uh, play. Yeah, we'll just make sure that that is added in there. Consolidate undo points and then click OK. After we get that startup action in the sequence that we want, we right click and copy selection action command ID. And we go to set global startup action, click on run. We'll ask if we want to replace this, we'll say yes, and then in this window, we can paste in the string or the, the ID of that command that will run. Click OK. And then it's, it's confirming that that is set. 
and then we can close. And when I press render, master mix, project, all this stuff, whatever it is, when I render this file, this is important if you have really long l renders and like me, you get distracted. You start watching a video in full screen. You don't see any pop-ups. There's no audible alert with, unless you set up this script. You know, you walk away for a while and you just don't know that rendering has completed. I really like this script. It's already come in handy a couple times in the past two weeks or so that, uh, um, that since I installed it, thank you, Mio, Ada, Mespedine, for creating this, this script, fulfilling my future request after so many years. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. Hopefully you find it useful as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. See you guys later.